All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, we're gonna go into electricity and magnetism here. See if we can get this going here. We got a pretty good bit of junk set up here. What I want to show you before we get started too much is, is this uh, this wire is just plugged into that that power strip, and it goes to a little box fan down here on the floor. And that you know that's an AC current, an alternating current, and then of course here you see a nine volt DC battery. And this is just a little old switch, a momentary switch, you know, and, and that supplies current. This is a coil of wire with a nail stuck through it. You've probably already seen this is electromagnets, what we made here. And that's just an ordinary nail, you know, it's not magnetic or anything. And this is just, like I said, a coil of wire. And it's got a covering over it, you know, a protective covering so that it doesn't, you know, any, almost all wires do have a protective cover so that they don't short out. And if you place a nail inside that and put a current through this, then you, any time electrons flow through a conductor, they produce a magnetic field around the outside of the of the conductor itself. And if you if you coil that, you multiply it each time. You make that magnetic field stronger and stronger and stronger. And if you put in, in, uh, another piece of, of metal or iron inside as an induction, then that, that will pick up that magnetism as it's multiplied. And all you have to do, you know, you can see here that that's not magnetic as long as, it, you know, we don't have it turned on. But as soon as I hit this button, you know, it turns into a magnet. As soon as I let go of the button, the magnet turns off. See, that's proof that, 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 that electricity and magnetism are woven together. You can't get them apart. That, that, that any time you see a magnetic field, which is what that is, magnetic field picks that up, then you know there's a flow of electricity involved. And, and, and you can measure this current of electricity directly with a meter, see. You know, you can look straight to the wires and measure the electrical current immediately. It's a nine volt battery, of course it's showing eight point something volts, probably a half dead battery. But at any rate, you know, you can measure direct electricity or you can measure, the, uh, we have a, a meter out, it's been out several years, the, the amp probe meters that measure uh, the magnetic field around the wire so that you don't have to actually touch the wires. The, these, these meters read that current through the magnetic field that it's produced. Now this meter is not a DC meter, it's an AC meter and that's why I got the fan hooked up to it. Let me reach over here and I'll show you. Well, first thing, you just loop loop this over any wire and it'll give you a reading as to how many volts or amps that it's pulling, you know, either one you want to read. When there's electrons passing through it, there's a magnetic field produced by the by that current. And as you can see, there's nothing turned on, so that's all. There's nothing in it. So there's no electricity, then there's no magnetic field. And as soon as we turn that on, turn it on low down there, you can see, well, we got 0.4 amps of current pulling through the wire. Because it's, you know, it's producing a magnetic field, and this meter picks that up, and then it converts it into how much amperage and voltage we use. Now the thing about this is, is that, like I said, it's alternating current, and it works either way with DC or alternating current. As long as the wires are together, and the and the electricity is flowing back and forth in two directions, it won't register. They cancel the fields, cancel one another out. So therefore, it's cloaked. You can't see the electricity or or the magnetic field when they run side by side. But if you if you split them and go one at a time then the magnetic field shows up. And Matt Emery explains how all this works really well if you want to go check into his his, his website and whatnot. But at any rate this this is just you know, this is just to prove to you that when you see a magnetic field, then that is because there is a flow of electricity involved. And 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 having said that, you know, you look at the sun and look at all the magnetic fields that that, that, that are produced in sunspots and whatnot and this and that and the other and the fact that most all the planets have a magnetic field of some sort 
then you know that's a massive you know it's amount of electricity flowing in in and out of these of these objects is to that the only way to have a magnetic field is to have the flow of electricity so when you look at the sun and you see all these magnetic field lines and currents and, and of course the NASA it also covers and tracks every bit of this on their integrated space weather website they track these magnetic portals and fields that come from the sun they're tethered to the earth they track the ones that are directly related to earth's footprint 24 hours a day seven days a week they track these magnetic fields and then of course if you see a magnetic field then there's a large induction of electrons flowing that you, you know same thing if you look into the human body and, 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 and an MRI scanner magnetic resonance imager the human body has a flow of electrons and, and they put a wire on your finger to actually increase the flow of electrons they add more voltage to your body because it's such a low voltage that we ain't you know as primitive as we are we can't really measure it as good at any rate they add more voltage to your body so that it, you put off a stronger magnetic field so that the magnet that, that you're sitting inside of can pick you up pretty much basically the same way that this 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 meter works the MRI works in the same basic fashion the fact that there are electrons flowing through your body produces magnetic fields we all have it every one of us is a walking magnet every one of us all living things have have electrons and therefore all things have magnetic fields that's just a period and that's a given you can't have one without the other so I thought we'd throw this one in there and show everybody how you know the, the, the that they they know these tr flux transfer events happen every eight minutes that they're recording and and then you know they're large magnetic vortexes well that's a large electrical vortex as, as well this this is what creates the weather this is why weather systems turn right and left high and low pressure is simply a, an influx of electricity in and out of the earth and all the charged particles of moisture in the atmosphere are attracted to this magnetic field and that's why that's why the hurricane turns that's why the storms turn on all the planets that you know this is why uh, this is what creates tornadoes it's a strong magnetic field a strong amount uh, a large amount of electrons passing through the earth if you look at where the worst parts of these happen it's right over fault areas like Madrid that's you know that's tornado alley and the fact that a lot of electricity passes in and out of that fault right there that there's a large amount of electric magnetic field that, that is associated with that this is, this is why these storms explode and blow up like they do and at any rate I mean it's you know it's all it's all connected to you know the fact that we we are all magnetic we all have electricity we all have a magnetic field that is our aura that is they're just as different as a, as a, a you know a fingerprint all based on the same medium of electricity so at any rate there's a, there's a look at electricity and magnetism and how you know we are actually you know this is how we are connected through magnetic fields and, and the flow of electricity so I hope that helps out. Peace, love, but go heads up.